And we're live. Uh, oh, so today we are doing uh, watching shit number three, um, by um, uh, not really debunking, but just kind of looking at the cognitive dissonance inside Mario Da Vinci and Christian's head, which is vast. Vast, yeah. Huge amounts of nonsense. And let me get the video up. And also, a, a point that's worth making about Mario before we even sort of get going, yeah. whilst Matt sorts out the um, whatever whatever absurd video, because I haven't actually seen this one. Um, yeah. Basically, what he does is shit on everybody. Everyone's a, either a part of the Illuminati or an Illuminati shill or a sheeple. And you think, uh, Christ, I mean, had Jesus of Nazareth been alive, he would have fucking despised you. You're an awful human being. <laughs> But this video, what, going into it, is surprisingly quite accurate on Bowie's history of uh, v b dark arts. So, okay. it's it's interesting. It's for for one, it's actually a Mario video. It's worth watching. I, what I love about the the occult people, it's they'll say like, "Oh, the colors of the occult are red and black and white and green and blue." You think that's every fucking color? What? That's not occult. Then that's just some colors or like some some symbol, like the triangle. That's it's a triangle. It's not a fucking symbol of anything. God almighty. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Just before we even get going with that, right? It says preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't see him doing that actually all that often. He, he talks shit he's, about people. We didn't think he has nine channels. Pardon? The guy has nine channels. What a few of them he does. All oh, right, okay. Well, I've only ever seen the crazy conspiracy one. <laughs> I didn't know he had other channels. There you go. Yo, and you're here for another edition of Satanic Illuminati Media Exposed. In today's video, no, no, sorry, I right. It may yeah. be, just maybe, and it's, it's a theory I've had with uh, Alex Jones as well, who's a similar conspiracy theorist, not, although he's more of an NWO guy. Um, the, they would be brilliant Poe shields if, oh, these, yeah. if these actual fucking organisations existed. They would need to put someone out like this, someone crazy enough to completely disprove the thing that they're trying to prove, or in the people in my, people's minds, you know what I mean? Jason uh, Unruh on Mouse Rubber News actually has two videos of talking about that, actually. I, I have my issues with Mr. Unruh, to be honest, but yeah. 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 Today for a brand new music video that was put out by David Bowie for his song called Black Star. The reason that I needed to expose it is this is one of the most satanic music videos that has ever been produced. It is, in fact, a satanic... No, it, no, the reason you had to put it out was not because it was so satanic, but because he just died and he was in the headlines and this makes for good clickbait. That's all. Yes. No, but I would say, watching that video, uh, Black Star, when it came out, yeah. I was like, after watching I was like, this man's going to die in a few weeks. Like, I just, the video embodied death in such a personal level. It was like Johnny Cash's last song. Um, yeah, true, it. but that's not because it's satanic Illuminati, that's just yeah, because he yeah. knew he was dying. <laughs> so he, he was clearly on his fucking mind, as it would be, you know. Well, also, the song is a ritual, and you, like, not like a ritual, but like it does have like um, ritualistic elements in it for performance piece of art, I guess. Yeah, but David Bowie's just always a bit weird. I think, I think oh, people yeah. read too much into that shit. Yeah, it's they just, really it's do. A video, it's a music video from a man who's dying. It's going to be a bit weird. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Being played out in front of people, they have no idea that they are in fact participating in this satanic ritual when they allow themselves to be entertained by this media. There is a spirit behind everything. The Bible. I, I just, I, I like it. Like when you hear him, he kind of has like that monotone voice, like, uh, kind of like, um, uh, what's like a Sandman does. They yeah. have like similar tones of voice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like it's almost like they're they're an automated machine reading a script or something. Yeah. Yeah. But this the it's just it's so infuriating because everything you say, you know, is just dripping with bullshit. It, it's like oh god. Like at least and the, the the thing is right. If this is satanic, then at least Satanism is fun because what he does is shit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. 
We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. There's a spiritual dimension and forces that impact and influence your life. And the spirit behind this music video is of the devil, plain and simple. It is a witchcraft curse from a satanic puppet of the entertainment world. <laughs> so what does that sentence mean? What? That was fucking word salad. It was just... <laughs> Throw together entertainment, satanic, bloody blah, blah, and these followers all love it. It's ridiculous. That was just that was pap, utter fucking trash. And like I say, was if if this is satanic, then give me more satanic because it's fun. <laughs> what he's exactly. offering me is not entertaining in the slightest. Aware of these things, I needed to shed light on this so that you don't think this is just merely nothing more than innocent entertainment. Witchcraft is real, spirituality is real, curses are real, and these elite know it and they are. But he doesn't, the thing is, he doesn't about uh, trying to make as if he, in his worldview, in his totally made up, not you know, money making bullshit worldview. The yeah. idea that he makes a distinction between satanic entertainment and just pure, nice, cool entertainment. There's no such thing. Is there any form of entertainment he hasn't attacked? I, I, I can't think of it. Like, everything. Yeah. It's been everything. Absolutely. Even, like, Christian conservative right wing people he's attacked as being part of the satanic Illuminati. So there's no such thing as clean entertainment. So don't lie as if, like, oh, you're only attacking the satanic bits. Because you, you basically, in your fucking idea, anything that's clickbait-worthy is satanic, and therefore you're... I'm, like, I'm waiting for today. I am waiting for today for when Mark Dice and Mario are going to get into some, like, internet flame war. Well, I'd like him once to release a video saying, here's a piece of entertainment. I liked it. Like, just, <laughs> just a cool video, you know? Uh, at a high, high level with extreme sophistication. So be on guard and be vigilant. So in the music video, it goes as far as blaspheming the Lord Jesus Christ, preachers, uh, Christians, uh, as... And prunes and raisins. Yeah, exactly. Disgusting. Do you, you remember, you remember the Simpsons? This is offensive to Christians and prunes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, do you remember when the Simpsons was good? I love those days. They were Yeah, fun. exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> satanic ritual and also you're going to see there's literally a satanic ritual that's performed in vocation and demon of no heck <laughs> that's an inside joke that Sargon's watching he'll get it what? I missed that one oh, he, said, um, he said invocation of no heck it's from a D and in a, a couple of our games oh god you're a nerd ugh <laughs> uh. All right, so let's get right into it. Now, it shouldn't surprise anyone, uh, first of all, that David Bowie would do this. Um, I mean, he has a massive, massive reputation uh, of being a Satanist. I mean, here he is. What is with Hang on, what, what is any of that? The, um, look at that. Look, that's ridiculous. What, is, yeah. what are they supposed to be showing us there? The, the fucking the Ziggy Stardust... Fucking Flash. What? That's satanic, is it? He, I think at one point he says it like resembles Thor or Zeus's lightning bolt idolizing false gods or something. Why not? If he wanted to go full Christian with it, why not bring up the fact that he, you know, engaged in anal sex or whatever? Like, <laughs> exactly. At least that would have some sort of scriptural basis or something. You know what I mean? Yep. What? Uh, yeah. I mean, the second one, okay, he's dressed up like what, like the um, the Sphinx or whatever. You think? No, he's, he's actually replicating his photo, Al Crowley. Oh, okay. Well, uh, some Arabic thing then. <laughs> but I don't get what he's supposed to be showing us there, really. I mean, it's just it's it, not... it makes it makes sense if you like know the background history of like Bowie's like like his like influence of like Anton LaVey and like Alex Crowley and all that other stuff. Anton LaVey isn't he the guy that pretended to be um, Davis or Reno? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, so I was the other way around. I forget. They're both so utterly alike. <laughs> Uh, on his face. Uh, here he is portrayed resembling Lester Crowley, who had um, portrayed himself in images this way, so he's actually imitating. Uh, he is an Lester Crowley disciple. Uh, and this is something that's public. I mean, he's been even quoted to say, rock has always been the devil's music. I believe rock and roll is dangerous. I feel we're only heralding something 
uh, even darker than ourselves. So I think this quote also applies to Mario in some instances. Yeah, basically. Uh, look at the mirror. It's uh, so these. I, I really am seeing Mario get into a fight on the internet. I, I'll be applauding that when it happens. I, I'd like to see him get his bollocks kicked in. Fuck him. <laughs> um, but it, it, that reminds me of the quote: "Is it uh, all rock and roll is homosexual?" Wasn't that from uh, Wasn't that from Boy George? No. Um, well, he might have quoted it, but it was from. Hang on, I'll, I'll Google. Yeah. Roll it on a bit, and I'll I'll come up with a name in a second. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when he recognizes what he's doing, it's not like one of these puppets who uh, doesn't admit that the music they create is satanic. So he's letting you know, and I'm telling you, it's true. It literally is true. Uh, and therefore, no, Mario, Mario, nothing you've ever said has been literally true. Fuck off. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Uh, God. Uh, this self to this and you shouldn't just see it as mindless entertainment uh this is literally a witchcraft curse that's developed by an elite who gets access to secret knowledge and mystery schools that uh, train him in the arts of being used as a vessel for these demonic spirits to <laughs> mystery school i love that mystery schools what the fuck is that about how'd you get involved in one of them how, how'd you know where it is how'd you know what the, the schedule okay. is it's all a fucking mystery i don't know to be used for their agendas. But uh, with all that said, I just want to uh, throw this out there. This is very important that you stay rooted and grounded in this, that although these people are putting out curses, that through the Lord Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we have power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall uh, hurt you by any means. All right, Luke chapter 10, verse 19. So I just want to encourage you guys that, yeah, uh, this stuff is satanic. It legitimately is. He's stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, not, I had to. He couldn't have just re that, like the audience just re-edited it. Yeah, but that would, that would involve some work, and Mario doesn't really do work. Exactly. A witchcraft curse being played out, uh, but Jesus Christ is offering you everlasting life through the power of his spirit. Uh, if you would repent and believe on the gospel, and uh, when you are born again and you have the Holy Spirit inside you, you have authority over all the powers of darkness. So uh, nothing that they can produce uh, can do anything. But I would just advise anyone that's going to go out there. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind having the hummus, uh, having um, uh, the, was it the satanicness inside of me, but as long as it's consensual, you know? <laughs> Watch this music video. It really is a curse. Okay, so make sure that you go. And no, Mario, watching your videos is a curse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, covered in prayer. Make sure that you would pray the blood of Christ over yourself. This is a real, real thing. The spirit realm is real. All right, so let's get uh, into. Is he going to offer any evidence for that, or is he just? I, is he just... I don't know. He's in the mouth. Off. Just, tr just trust me. It's definitely real. It's fine. It's fine. Fine, yeah. Uh, the first thing that we need to point out is obviously the name of the song. Uh, that's telling in itself. Black Star, uh, in Judaic belief, uh, in their form of astrology, is often uh, referred to as Saturn. And if you know anything about uh, astrology and how that ties in, uh, Satan is often a depiction of Saturn. So uh, these are occultists. This is the type of um, devil worship that they're in, into learning the mysteries and understanding this type. I just noticed in the, the corner of the painting, it says yeah. Levey Noir. It, this is a painting from Anton Levey. <laughs> well, hang on. I'm just thinking the Black Stars. I'm sure that's the name of one of the African national soccer teams. I can remember correctly. I might have to inform them. Yeah, that, that's the nickname for the Ghana national soccer team is the Black Stars. <laughs> so they did, little did we know that the Ghanaian Football Association are devil worshippers, clearly. Hello. Hello. You're breaking up on me, Matthew. I can't, Matt. I'll well, this it's it's breaking up on me, mate. Yeah. I, I yeah. I, you're breaking up, lad. 
Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'll get you then. Hello. Uh, you're crackling my apologies if anyone can hear me out there apologies for this we're having a slight technical problem because you know fuck google google i got i got the single word no. google am i <laughs> <clears throat> Hello. Uh, hello. Yeah, I got, I got, I got. Uh, and here we go. Anyway, right. Did did you get my Ghanaian football jokes there? Yeah, we, we got them in. We got them in. Good. We're good. Awesome. <laughs> right. He's literally. Uh, that's what he's up to. So, uh, yeah, that's the point. Out. The song's literally the black star. Right, Satan, the star that is black, the, the one that doesn't shine or is a false light. See, why is he going to mention the race of the star? That's, that's just racial profiling of stars going on there. Yeah. You're out of order. Satan, whatever you want to call it, the enemy, the adversary of God Almighty. And so the video starts off, uh, we have um, right here a depiction of, uh, I believe, I don't know, he's on the moon or something like that. We see the black star, we see Satan in the background. <laughs> we uh, see Satan in the background. That's the moon. Uh, that, Unless I'm very much mistaken, that's what a solar eclipse going on there. I'm not entirely I think sure so, yeah. Satan. I mean, if it does, it means Satan isn't around very often, so we shouldn't really be that fucking worried, it would seem to me. Keep in mind, all of this is um, metaphoric, so there's always an, uh, an esoteric meaning uh, to the symbolism that you're seeing well, that's here. The, that's the point, isn't it? Because it's so utterly ridiculously vague, you can basically make anything into like an occult thing. Like, a, how the fuck is a solar eclipse possibly fucking satanic, considering God did it? If you believe exactly. that, God's made the moon and the sun the exact proportions to allow for a solar eclipse, put it all in alignment, and then made it happen every now and then. Like, it's God's fucking shit. So either God wants Satan to exist and in some weird fucking cryptic form, or it's all a load of old bollocks, so calm down. Ugh. I, I like how they got in the video, like, uh, in this video, Mario, like, this video for me, I've seen a lot of Mario videos just to laugh at. This is yeah. the only one I can actually stand to watch the whole way through. I don't know what it is. Well, because it's quite cool to see some David Bowie artwork. It's like it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. It, that's what he does. Unfortunately, he goes after people. Like when he does a video on, say, Beyonce, I'm really not all that bothered because her music videos don't really interest me all that enormously. <laughs> Whereas you show yeah, me some yeah. David Bowie shit, I'll have a look at that. Definitely. Yeah. I like what Anthony Fontana said about this video when he made his reply to this video. He said, "Excellent piece of mind-numbing art by Mario De Vigo and Christian." Yeah. Astrology, black star. Uh, we're talking about Satan. So Satan uh, shining his Luciferian light down on uh, this. What is Luciferian light? Oh, what the fuck is that? Luciferian light. I mean, is that literally just brimstone? Is that what he's talking about there? Pretty much, I guess. Fuck. <laughs> here with these uh, symbols as well uh, in witchcraft what they'll do is they'll often put little strange symbols quickly uh, you'll see no, that that's, that's a fucking those are the component bits of black star that's it's like if if you put those bits together they make a star they're cut up stars they're not <laughs> crazy symbols look it's even got a massive black star above it so you can see it what does what's going on in this man's fucking head I don't know. It's he's bizarre. Um, that's a form of putting a hex on someone. Uh, but again, if you're in Christ, uh, you don't need to worry about these things. So why are you pointing it out then? We have over <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, love it. I, I, I had this before, right? And it, it's not necessarily to do with Mario, but I think it's a video I did ages ago about sports stars who were really religious, and he was going about 
uh, Adam Wainwright, the, the pitcher. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw, yeah. Yeah, and he was going about, there's no way f- to guarantee your salvation. So why bother at all then? If there's literally nothing you can do to guarantee, you might as well just have fun and hope, because that's just as good, it seems to me. Yep. You zoom in and you go into the actual, um, well, it's not uh, Nasrati, he's dead, uh, but this is very symbolic, all right? So uh, in their belief, they believe that they're in contact with the gods who descended from heaven and taught them the magic arts, uh, how to become god, alchemy, gnosis, gave them wisdom, okay? So having the well, astronaut... That, that's a dead astronaut. <laughs> exactly. A dead astronaut. I mean, it, it might have some other symbology as like, you know, uh, as any as any death can mean that, but essentially... I have, the I I thought in a video that the dead astronaut was supposed to be um, uh, uh, um, the character in Space Oddity, the song where he goes into space. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That would make sense, yeah. That would make absolute sense. But no, no, it's definitely to do with gods descending and teaching him how to do fucking alchemy. <laughs> Atlas shrugged. <laughs> if only she'd shrugged a little fucking harder. Or hit. Uh, this has fallen, and you know he looks dead now. Uh, is is a representative? He looks, he looks dead. That's brilliant. <laughs> he looks dead. He's he, it's a fucking skull, Mario. <laughs> yes, he's dead. He doesn't look dead. Look, look, oh, God, I know that's a small point, but he looks dead. Well, don't don't <laughs> call it doctor. Don't call it too soon. He might make a fucking recovery. God. <laughs> He hasn't got fucking no. eyes. Astronauts and them coming and bestowing upon us uh, power. And you're going to see that play out through the video, in fact. That's how the end of the video plays out. Uh, they invoke the fallen angel skull demon uh, through worship. <laughs> <laughs> fallen angel skull demon. That's literally just word salad. Is he be- no, actually, ironically enough, David Bowie had a thing um, in part as part of his creative process where he would cut up uh, bits of like pages from books and stuff, and jumble yeah, them up and come up with like, you know, put them out in lines and stuff, and it, it would sort of spark ideas in his head, putting all these jumbles of words together. And I think that's what Mario does. Yeah. Fallen, fallen angel, demon, skull, magic creature, man, Illuminati, man. Like it's just, it's just gibberish. Yep. An invocation at the end through a dance occultic ritual uh, that I'm going to show you in a second here. But keep all that in mind. That's that's one thing uh, that's very important. This is a symbol of uh, them meeting the gods, the fallen angels, all throughout uh, the world. You can find these um, uh, ancient uh, people talking about their interactions with the gods. Uh, the Bible well, tells it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What is the story of Jesus of Nazareth, if not ancient people describing their interactions with gods? Exactly. That's precisely what that is. Don't pretend like your book is any more fucking crazy than this shit. Exactly. It's probably less. Yeah, exactly. Pagan nations that interacted with fallen angels. Uh, of course they did, because, I mean, they were taught by these gods that descended from the heavens. Gods. Who are, in fact, fallen gods. angels masquerading. How to do... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we're entering into. I want, I want Mario to go and order a coffee in that kind of voice. That is <laughs> brilliant. Place the Mayans and stuff like that. So, anyways, they okay, believe so, though. Again, it, uh, just for a brief moment, uh, it's not on the screen in the second, but he, a second back, he um, hovered over the human sacrifice bit again. Yeah. What is the story of Jesus of Nazareth's execution, but a, a human, human sacrifice? That's precise. I mean, they literally say he sacrificed his life for us. Exactly. The same fucking thing, Mario. <laughs> oh, God. I mean that they're receiving higher gnosis and higher knowledge uh, from these beings, and they end up worshipping them. So you're going to see that uh, just like the Mayans would... Uh, so again, again, not to labour a point, but Mario, not to labour a point, mate, but Jesus came down and supposedly gave us eternal knowledge of, you know, good and all yeah. that and that's and you know so it's essentially the same fucking thing again and this is what actually, I've, I've seen right wingers on the internet claim jesus was an extraterrestrial i i've not i'm not lying i've seen this crap before well if you, oh, there's a fucking brilliant what's his name spirit science he's amazing yeah, yeah, have yeah, you seen that uh, martimus takedown of him going on about the space jews it's fucking well, well, who, who, who did that 
Uh, Martima eighty one is a Swedish guy. Yeah, I saw, I saw, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he's he's. Uh, why do people laugh at spirit science? And yeah. <laughs> spirit science goes on about the the Hebrewic people having been descendants from extraterrestrials or some bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifices to appease them and offer blood to them. Uh, in a way, you're going to see this type of uh, ritual being performed to the skull astronaut that descended from the heavens, right? Uh, so if you're able to pick that up, I think that's pretty darn clear. Now, uh, the other thing they start to begin to do here is... I was going to use clips from Eyes Wide Shut by... Uh, um, oh, fuck, what's his name again? Uh, uh, Stanley Kubrick. Yeah. These 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 um, pictures right here from uh, Eyes Wide Shut by Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, well, he was the one that faked the moon landings, wasn't he? Exactly, yeah. Uh, to mock Christianity... Oh, Steve Shives, if you're listening to this, that was a joke. I know he didn't actually. I'm, you know, I'm being a sarcastic prick as usual. I, I know. I can tell. I, I'm, it's YouTube. I wonder how many people are actually going to believe what you're saying. But if, yeah, that would be great. The internet is one of those places where, even though I'm known for being a sarcastic prick, it, when I say sarcastic shit that's obviously mental and crazy and meant to be sort of satirical, people still go, I didn't know you were a massive racist <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> with Satanists. This is a form of invoking demonic power. Uh, in fact, there's a such thing as a black mass. Many Satanists will just recreate things that are... Yeah, why are you bringing up the race of the mass? Racial profiling masses now. <laughs> do in our churches and turn them upside down. I've heard of a Satanist come out and talk about they'll take old Christian hymns, do the same type of music to it, but tur like turn the words around. So it sounds this like uh, the, the beat is the same, but the words are all different. And in fact, they're completely reversed where they glorify Satan and mock and, and blaspheme God. So this no, is they, just, if you turn the words around, it just becomes gibberish. It's there's like that old thing about you know if you play Black Sabbath backwards it's you know kill the yeah. kill the blood of the innocent no if you play Black Sabbath backwards it's fucking nonsense it doesn't make any sense it's just horrible noises that's all it is <laughs> it really is fucking hell. form of mocking Christians as a form of satanic worship to demon gods demons will do this because blasphemy is a sin you don't realize how severe of a sin so if you're going to engage in black me. Yeah, you can get demonic power, but I want judgment to a righteous, just God for mocking yeah. him who is holy and righteous. Holy. This ain't no game. This, this is, is brilliant because when they, I love it when these fucking money grabbing pricks who you know don't really give a fuck or are yeah. crazy as fuck, when they start getting into it really like this, you think to yourself, this guy sounds like he's masturbating. This guy sounds like he's yeah. getting really into this at this point. Like he is definitely erect at this point, isn't he? Look, he's so into it. And yes, for those wondering, I am masturbating too. And what? <laughs> Are deceiving. That's a form of occultic mockery and ritual. So that's exactly David the Spit Bowie doing in the. That was gorgeous. So he just said, David the uh, Bowie. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I, I'm like David Bowie, the Satan is puppet. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? Yeah. I, uh, well, all of this is mocking. The I know. I, I'm just doing it because uh, it's funny. Oftentimes you'll see him with his Bible just flashing it around, looking no, all intense. That's a book. That's, you can't just say because he's holding a book up, it's a Bible. I can't remember the last well, time I saw I, a black star on the front of a fucking I, Bible. I read in The Guardian, the, the book he's holding is like a first edition Aleister Crowley book. I wouldn't be surprised. It could be anything. That's the point. Yeah. It could be. Uh, it could be a copy of fucking uh, Green Eggs and Ham for all he fucking knows. It could be anything. Exactly. Praying. Uh, I believe these individuals here represent uh, the Christians. They're portrayed as mindless, even uh, animalistic. They have these animal movements, especially with their hands, uh, and they don't look like they know what's going on. Right? They look pretty ridiculous, mindless. Well, actually, I mean, again, Mario, not to set yourself up too much for a, a sarcastic atheist like myself, but when you say that they look like Christians because they don't know what to do with themselves and they look like they haven't got a clue what's going on. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes that is the case with Christians. Yep. Like, you know, like, yeah. Like uh, an individual we're watching right now. An individual we're watching yeah. right now. 
preacher because that's what Christians do. You know, they're so dumb praying to their God that it doesn't exist or something ridiculous like that. No, no, but again, no, no, Mario, Mario. The, the apt description would be if so let's 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 buy into his nonsense that he's holding a Bible there. The apt way of looking at that as a piece of metaphorical art is look at them. They're dumbstruck by the book. They shouldn't be dumbstruck by the book. Don't worship the fucking book. <laughs> that would be the point. Don't be a biblical yeah. literalist dickhead like you. Ugh. Mockery, a satanic ritual, a black mask, a mask <laughs> way of uh, invoking <laughs> Buzzwords and shit at random. Black mass ritual, satanic. I, I would have to say, when I was doing investigating like a, for like videos to just watch about Bowie, Ray Comforts is pretty good, even though I hate him as an individual. About what? What did he? What? What? What was Ray Comforts take? Did it have anything to do with bananas? If not, I will be disappointed. No, uh, Ray Comforts did a whole video about Bowie being like a, a, like a false prophet, but being also a prop at the same time, like this shit. But it was it in two minutes. This guy goes on for eighteen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why take two minutes when you can take a hundred? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, then you know he's. Uh, you know this this particular image in the video kind of reminds me of uh, Pan's Labyrinth with um the Angel of Death. Uh, have you seen Pan's Labyrinth? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, no, I see that. Realizing himself as the preacher, you see that, and uh, just coincidentally, you know, he goes around with this, and uh, that's obviously to symbolize that we are blind, you know, so mocking. No, that not, not necessarily. I think, I think, what I take from that image is that um, although he's been blinded, he's got those smaller eyes, so essentially he's not perceiving the whole of the truth. He's seeing a very narrow yeah, view. Exactly. That's yeah. what it seems like to me, which again, if you're a biblical literalist, that is true. You're not completely blind. But you're blinded to the much more beautiful reality. See, because a preacher, a true good prophet of God, a man who is empowered by the Holy Spirit, uh, is a man who can see the Holy Spirit and eyes to see that which is spiritual and able to discern what is truly going on. So this is yes, not utter word, salad. utter fucking word, salad. He sees that. He sees that the Holy Spirit has given him eyes to see spirit. That doesn't mean anything. That is just fucking nonsense. Like, I, I, I dread to think how um, sad his English teacher must be. To think, I, I taught this prick to speak, and, and he, he can't even form proper fucking sentences or, like, anything. He can't well, write a script, Mario. Don't just pick words at fucking random. I know, uh... Let's get this up here. The truth, uh, which is satanic, it's blasphemy. Uh, but again, this is to invoke that form of blasphemy that I was talking. I actually didn't think were, uh, these were Christ. I thought these were like scarecrows. Yeah, they, they clearly are. Look at the shabby dress. It's a scarecrow. And I mean, if he's going to call this satanic, basically every farmer that's ever lived is a fucking satanist. It's a scarecrow. Look at it. Look at the shabby dress. They're not naked. They've not got a crown of thorns. I mean, the dude on the left's got a fucking afro. What, I think, has he? I think he looks like one. It's, well, it's clearly not meant to be the same thing. It's in the video, Oh, okay. Well, there you go. It, it, yeah. But either, either way, it's clearly not supposed to be Jesus Christ in yeah. any way. Or you got to do the crucifixion. Jesus has to be here, uh, but he has to be here as this disgusting scarecrow. Uh, who's He's so he even fucking says it. He even says like a disgusting scarecrow. Hey, don't ever go at scarecrows. Like it's not it's sort of part of the act, isn't it, to be scruffy, right? Yeah. Um so don't, don't call them disgusting. That's that's racist against scarecrows. Okay. Um yeah. and secondly, if you've accepted that they they're dressed as scarecrows, why would you assume they're Jesus Christ? Why not just say, Well, they're fucking scarecrows? I mean they're in a field. It, you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Perverted hip movements. Uh they even uh have the uh thieves what? on the past. What? Were they literally thrusting like they were gonna? They were fucking. Yeah, oh. in the video. Yeah, in the video they were. Oh, okay. Well, that's something then, I suppose. <laughs> I'll give him that. Fucking dirty scarecrow bastard. Rising the crucifixion uh, here because again another form of blasphemy uh, that will to the demonic principalities that they have given themselves over.
over to uh, appease them, give them pleasure, therefore they will get more demonic power because these people, that's what they want. They want power. And their power is is spiritual, but demonic in nature. No, so their, they, power, their power is to scare away crows. That's, <laughs> that, that's what they've got the power to do. I want to I spin this around. These are scarecrows to scare away crows and vultures. Which scares Mario. <laughs> well, exactly, and there is yes, this, there's nothing quite so vulturous as those that would prey on the fucking um, the insecurities of those who are scared of death. Which is essentially what preachers do. Exactly, and I mean Mario is a fucking vulture. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever they need to do, whether it's pedophilia, blasphemy, mockery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, whoa. where the fuck did pedophilia come into this? He did, he did, he did, so many videos. Yeah, he just totally said, "Oh God Almighty!" Anyway, I, I really don't want to get into too much into the argument. Right? I'm sorry. <laughs> Sacrificing children, animals, humans, whatever it is, the level of depravity there is no end uh, for them because it's like a heroin. They get this fix of like, I need to get my satanic power and legit. The demons it's like heroin, which is ironic considering David Bowie used to take lots of heroin. Look, oh, so yeah, yeah. in actuality, David Bowie's heroin was heroin. It was heroin, yes. Yeah, yeah. Give them this at a price, and they completely use them. A story I heard him telling once about um, he and uh, Iggy Pop during the um, 70s, they wanted to yeah. go and get they wanted to get dry off the coke, um, and so they went to Berlin yeah. to record a few albums and found out it was yeah. the heroin capital of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember that story. I, I know I have a friend who told me that before, like from like um like a uh, like. Who was like, like who was really into Bowie and told me that story like 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 a like a, like a uh, rec- we're at a record store and he told me that. Yeah, I mean that's that's quite cool in a way. <laughs> no, and on the day of judgment, it's going to be a sad, 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 sad thing. We'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth for the blasphemy that these people have engaged in. Uh, they will regret it when they stand in front of God. Then uh, the video goes into its ritual. So then they begin to do a ritual right in front of the public in a video right now as we speak that's being played out. There are people that are watching this ritual. So please pray against it. We have been given authority to overcome these type of rituals. We have power to tread over scorpions and serpents. Uh, So here they begin their little occultic ritual in a circle, uh, dancing around, dancing. you know, you see that, then uh, the, the skull demon, fallen angel god uh, comes out. Skull uh, demon, can... fallen angel god. Skull I know, I know. demon, fallen angel god. It, it's, it's just a stream of consciousness, isn't it? I know, I know. This part of the video is really just intense to watch. Though, because like, when this part of the video happened, the day like I wa- like it was uploaded, I watched it, I was like, Bob was going to die soon. Like, I just saw it, like... Yeah, well, yeah, like I say, it's a yeah. man who knows he's on the verge of death. Doing it's like something. a yeah. to see. Yeah. The glow is obviously to represent that it is not just a skull, that there is a, it is a physical item, an idol that is used uh, to represent a fallen angel, a god. Or, and they or, or, to... Mario, Mario, here's an idea for you. Or the glow is to represent being able to actually see the fucking skull. I mean, I'll, exactly. I'll, put, I'll put that out there. It's called lighting. <laughs> I worshiping this idol, which is very common in Satanism and paganism and all things ungodly and wicked. Even certain Christianities worship skulls. I'll have to say that. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there are loads of there are loads of churches that have got relics of bones and skulls of saints and stuff. I know and depraved, um, they begin to access demonic power because God gives them over to depraved minds to do these things and that they would begin to invoke this and that they're going to... Why does God give over anything to demonic minds? I don't know. I mean, it could Uh, could just be that Mario's talking shite. I'll put that out there. I would too. Just... Uh, penalty on the day of judgment but this is what we're watching here we're watching satanic cults performing idol worship in front of the people death cult idol worship of a skull that is to invoke a fallen angel and they showed you that at the beginning keep that in mind i told you to hold on he's on the verge of coming at this point isn't he yeah he is so hard he's about to fucking unload 
part of Satan uh, that was right there. That's the skull that was discovered by this tailed demon woman uh, that then... <laughs> That it begins to glow when they begin to dance, and uh, they begin I, I one love, after the I other. Would, I've just, I've just realised what I must do if I ever like meet Mario, take him to an art exhibition or like a, yes. an, a museum, yes. and just have his commentary of all the paintings and the architecture and stuff, because it's going to be mental. It's going to be absolutely <laughs> fucking brilliant. <laughs> the Mona, the Mona Lisa is clearly in a satanic trance. <laughs> to do to the idols okay this is a form of you're doing was that purpose because of the da vinci code conspiracy <laughs> <laughs> yeah why not fuck it Poking satanic power right in front of your face right in front of your face which is one of the things that they always always do and if you're going to tell me that this isn't satanic <laughs> work, oh, <laughs> my God. i mean look at them all bowing <laughs> Okay, this is exactly what it is, bowing and worshipping their idol, their gods, giving themselves over to the demonic spirits that the Bible says and are the cat fallen well, angels, yeah. uh, yeah. that are waging war against God, and these are the sons of disobedience, those who are... It wasn't, a, it wasn't as good a series as the Sons of Anarchy, to be honest. It I didn't know. Work uh, so well. uh, I can follow the script. Yeah. So what a disobedience. Oh, <laughs> For Sorry, these wicked evil things that they do. This is just more and more proof of what I've been saying all along, that in fact, modern day entertainment is satanic media. The leader of the Church of Satan, Antoine LaVey, clearly said that the television <laughs> is a satanic altar. It's it's brilliant. It's fucking and look to that one that you know the thing Jesus is the answer. My friend had a great one. He said if Jesus is, if Jesus is the answer, then fuck the question. <laughs> Which is yeah. I mean, that's, but, but as, as I've always said, right? If you if you yeah. can't guarantee your salvation, you might as well go for it. Because what can they do? Add time on for bad behaviour. Eternity in hell is eternity regardless. Fuck it. Exactly. Oh the modern day family and influence us in satanic forms and i mean come on just blatantly in our face demon worship so what i'm going to do here at the end of the video hopefully i'm able to um if i get a copyright strike i'll have to remove it and i'll leave it in the description but hopefully you can just keep watching it and it'll play i'm going to play a clip from a documentary that you need to get your hands on. They sold their souls for rock and roll. This is a fantastic uh, documentary by Good Fight Ministries. And uh, he does a little piece on David Bowie that we're about to listen to, but I would just uh, urge you to watch the rest of it because it's very insightful and it'll help you understand what is going on. But even though I'm well documented now in my personal series, 100, I think we're 100 videos uh, on the satanic subliminal messages in popular entertainment, we do not need to fear. Uh, the reason that I tell you this is just so that you can be aware of what's going on. That's what being watchful, it means you have an awareness, not to fear. And that's why I tell you, don't fear. You need to be able to stare at this right in the face what and the be Don't be scared. You, uh, all the time, your whole your whole approach is satanic demon evil worship creatures and it's, it's fucking tailed winged women and you know human yeah. sacrifice. Well, of course you're trying to scare people. Don't be fucking stupid. It's I would so probably cut the video early because I don't want to get a content ID match. So I'm just like, uh, for like I haven't like put this video up like near it or anything. So like I I don't know if his documentary could be in copyrighted or not. Yeah, I I. I, I Whatever, I don't mind. We can watch it if you want. I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I know. Like when it comes on, I'm just cutting the video. Like to fear nothing. Oh. You fear. I, I just want to finish the video so like, we're not accused no of destroying anything or like whatever. We walk in the valley of the shadow of death, but we fear no evil, for our God well, is yeah, with us. Whenever I hear that now, I can't help but but carry on the lyrics to Gangster's Paradise in my head, which is really <laughs> annoying. I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left because I've been left in a path and some blows that even mama thinks that my mind is gone. It's an Amish paradise. I milk the butter or turn the cow or once. Even as you kill it, I was like, my mind is out that once. We're living in an old paradise. Well, we both dropped a little bit of Coolio nonsense right there. Yeah, and I, no, I was, I was people. Welcome. 
Uh, I was seeing Amish Paradise. Oh, well, that, that that's silly. Whereas clearly me, a white English lad singing Gangster's Paradise was perfectly cool. <laughs> We don't need to worry. Okay, so uh, I, I bring this up for your attention so that you can warn other people. Uh, because if you're not in Jesus Christ, then yeah, there's a problem. Uh, you need to get. <laughs> like, I would not be in Jesus Christ because he was ripped. Do you know what I'm saying? Like he was, he had done some fucking crunching. Man. I, I was having a problem with you. Like, on so many levels. <laughs> Mario was like problems and he's like having videos. Not even two dimensional, three dimensional. They're linear. They're four dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he's he's on another plane of existence. You need the power to. Ugh. Otherwise, you're just going to be a pawn in his hands. You cannot serve two masters. You are either with the Lord Jesus or against him. There Ugh. is no Fucking middle ground. There is already. a war. <laughs> saying, God bless each and every one of you. As always, remember when there are satanic cults that like you, Mario, like you, you yeah. do every day. So who knows? Millions of dollars and produce these like you get from donations, Mario. Music videos that the public just thinks is mindless entertainment, and like you, Mario, fill it with satanic worship and demon worship and invocation and the video itself is mind control for the masses you need to stay 100 percent grounded in christ and vigilant fearing no evil god bless okay we're done oh we're done thank god, Fuck we're done. That dude, man. oh my word uh, uh, we are good for today awesome that was that was fun i enjoyed that one <laughs>